from yesterday's win. Yeah, yesterday's it's nice. It's, it's a bit of a trend that's developing within this group that we're winning um, and not necessarily playing the prettiest brand of cricket at times. We Certainly there's a lot of areas we can improve on from yesterday. That said, it was great to get the points. We knew it was a very important game for us because it allows us to be in the finals, whether it's in the the final or the elimination final. So we knew it was a big game for our guys to step up and, and take the points. Uh, I'm thrilled about that. Two milestones yesterday, sit the top of the ladder and book the final spot. What does that mean? Well, it's very important. Obviously, if we can make the final, it's something that, again, like the Sheffield Shield last year, it's something that we haven't been involved with for a long time. Our aim is to be in the first position. Uh, we know that and we've got two games to secure that first position. If we do that, we've made another final and that's a great tribute to the guys, uh, the players and the staff around who are working so hard to ensure West Australian cricket gets back to the top. Victoria on Sunday, then Queensland on Wednesday. Um, how do you handle the, the next few games given you've already booked that final spot? Yeah, they're two big games for us because to, to be a fair, Queensland, the champions last year, the couple last, last couple of years, New South Wales, the uh, Sheffield Shield champions last year, very, very strong teams. Victoria have been one of the benchmark teams for a long time. So from, for this group, we have to beat the, the let's say, the big teams. Um, we've played very well against South Australia and Tasmania, who are also very good teams. But for us to know really where we are, I want to see how we play against Victoria, Queensland and New South Wales. Uh, just any, any team news ahead of tomorrow's game? Yeah, again, the big question mark's always about management, particularly of our fast bowlers. Our bats, batting group still hasn't fired, so we're still looking for them to fire over the next couple of games into the finals. Uh, we're looking to manage our bowling group uh, with Joel Paris, um, Jason Berendorf, Nathan Coulton, old Nathan Remington's played a few in the in a row now. So we'll look to look at that. We'll look at conditions. So Michael Beer might come in. Um, at Blacktown, it looked like it spun the other night, so he's desperately keen for an opportunity. Very, very good one day bowler, so we'll work that out tonight and hopefully come up with our best team tomorrow. And just one final one Colts was excellent yesterday, four wickets. Just can you reflect on his return from injury? Yeah, it's great to have Colts in the team. One, he's a magnificent bowler, he's a fantastic fieldsman, and he gives you some depth in your batting as well. And he's a real, he's a senior bowler now, he's played for Australia. I thought yesterday, his return, you can just see he's got a bit of hunger about him at the moment. Again, we have to manage him well to get him through not only the finals, but also give him the best opportunities for Australian selection and for the Sheffield Shield coming up. So, um, but he's he's in really good shape at the moment, and we love having him in the team.